So Jemmy, today we've got everything. We've got the robot, we've got the props, we've got the arena, and we've got the smart camera add-on pack, AKA the magic tool. So what do you think we should start doing now? Since we have everything we need, why don't we start reviewing all the missions? Right, let's do that. So let's take it off easy and only review two missions, M01 and M02. Okay, let's go. Okay, so M01 is called Enable Solar Power Station. Correct. And how to place it properly is that the edge of the ball rack, which is right there, needs to be parallel to the outline on the bottom of the arena. Mm -hmm. And also the circular base down here is not pasted onto the arena with double-sided duct tape. So you could just bam and hit it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could ram into it, right? Yep. Okay, and now for M02, which is? Sending traffic signals. Yep, and the rules for M02 for putting it down is that when you put it down and when you fling the transmitter, it will the balls will go in the direction of the manual stage. Mm -hmm. And this is different from M01 because it uses double-sided duct tape to stick it down on the arena floor. Yep. And also the slide beam right here mm -hmm. fits right into the rectangular outline that was used for M01 ball wrap. Yep, because they have the same position. Yep. And now it's the goal target for M01 and M02. Right. So the target for M01 and M02 is that either for the red or blue EVA balls to fall into the arena mm -hmm. and to earn 20 points each. Yep. So, so the max for M01 and M02 is 40 points. Correct. And it doesn't matter if it's red or blue balls. They're each worth 20 points. Correct. And now this is M01 and M02 scoring judgment. Could you explain them to me? Sure. So if it scores, the conditions are that it's completely inside the arena or it's on top of the arena frame. Oh, okay, thank you. And now I'll explain the conditions that don't count. Okay, sure, so, I'm a little confused on that one. Okay, thank you. So the conditions that don't count is that when the red and blue balls are still in contact with the robot. So for example, if it's touching the side of the M-Bot like this, then that wouldn't count as any 20 oh, points. Okay. And also, if it's dropped out of the competition frame. Mm, so it's not inside the arena? Yep, it's nowhere inside the arena. It's not on the competition frame, it's outside. Okay, mm -hmm. so both those two conditions make it does its court. Yep. Okay. And now, let's go and code and design our robot, and then we'll meet at the arena. Yep, I already got the strategy and plan for designing my M-Bot. Just give me a little bit of time, yep. and we'll meet at the arena. Mm -hmm. So you're doing M01, mm -hmm. I mean M02, yeah. and I'm doing M01. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. So Afi, are you ready to accomplish the missions? Yep, I'm gonna be as good as good, just as I promised. Sure, so can I start first? Sure, go on. Okay, so as you can see my M-Bot is pretty simple. All it has is one pole right here, which is mm -hmm. used for hitting M01. And so how it hits it's like this, and it knocks it down. Then we have a little handle for me to just pick it up easily and put it down easily. So I don't need to carry like that. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate my code with my hand. So my M-Bot is from here, and then it runs until 1111, which is right there. Mm -hmm. Then moves forward a little bit to get over that black circle, and it run line until 0, zero, zero, zero. Oh. Then it moves forward a little bit mm -hmm. to set itself for turning. Okay. And after that, it turns left, and then it's facing directly at M01. So it moves up a little bit, so it gets a good shot. And then it moves it over like that. Okay. okay. So now I'm gonna um, run my M-Bot and let's see if my code works. Okay. Thanks for putting the balls back. You're welcome. So, ready? Yep. Let's go. So it comes and passes the black circle. Good job. It turns. And it hits it and it comes back. Good job. Good job, Jemmy. Thank you. That was great. Okay, now let's see your bot. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you my M bot. So First, my m is also pretty simple. It has a little pole over here, and it has this thing where it can hit my M02. Uh -huh. And it also has a handle, uh -huh. or 
possibly a backseat for my kitty. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you my plan for this for this code first. Okay. So my plan is that like I recommend you for coding, I recommend you to like code one section, go play, code one section and go play. So like first section, pretend my first section is run line to one 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 and then stop, which is a black circle. Then, th that's one section. I'm gonna go play it, and if it works, I'll move on to the next section. Run line until zero, 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 zero. Stop moving. Then I'm gonna put that together, and then I'm gonna play it. Then, if you keep on doing this and keep on doing this, you'll get your final code. So, now let's continue with my plan for the code. If I, when I'm stopping at zero, 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 I'm going to move forward like you kind of, yep. and then I'm going to turn, like just turn left a bit, just turn left a bit until over here, and then I'm going to move forward, and I'm gonna turn right, like that. Okay, okay so now that's, that's, and I'm gonna move backwards, so, and I'm gonna move backwards so that my M-Bot doesn't stop touching the prop. So, do you wanna see if my plan works? Sure, let's go. Okay, good luck, cat. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna, ready, steady, ready, steady, go! Okay, now it moves up. Yep. Well, that's pretty quick. Whoa! Yay! Funny. I did it! So good. Good job, that was Thanks. impressive. Mm -hmm. So, now let's go share each other's code, because both of us yeah. are so stable. I like yours, like, yours is like, like Boom, and then it's like, it looks so stable, like it's never gonna fail. Yeah, and I can't believe that you flung it that hard. Like, it actually amazes me, like, <laughs> Yeah, thank you, so. Let's go chair the code, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I told you mine would be as good as good, and I think yours is as great as great. Okay, so let's go to the coding section. See yeah, ya. let's go. Okay guys, now we're at my code for M01. And I, first of all, we need to switch to upload mode. And then we're gonna add the RGB line follower right here in the extensions. As you can see, right there. And you can add it, but I already added it, so it came up delete. It should come up like this for you. After that, you'll make a block called run line. And after you made a block called run line, you're going to um, identify run, what run line is. So we're going to go in here, drag, let's wheel turn add power, which is a variable right here, make a variable, plus motor differential speed. And then right wheel move add power minus motor differential speed. That minus and that plus is very crucial. Also, after that, we're going to say when mbot m core starts up, initialize RGB line follower at port three, and then RGB line follower set target color and fill light to green. But you can choose red, green, or blue. I just chose green. And also in here, you need to be careful about what port you choose because if you choose the wrong port, then this, it doesn't work because obviously um, you chose the wrong port. So you've got to choose the port that your RGB line follower is connected to. After that, we're going to say RGB line follower set turn sensitivity to 0.9. And we have proven that 0.9 is the best sensitivity to use with like lots of experiments. And then after that, we're going to say set power to 40. But I said it's 37 because, you know, so set as 40 like this. Or if you want to go faster, make it like 50. Or if you want to go slower, then make it like lower than 50. And then after that, um, we're going to go in for every loop. And then we're going to say if onboard button pressed, then wait until onboard button release. Then we're going to repeat run line until RGB line follower senses one, 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 which is that black circle. Then after that, we're going to stop moving. We're going to move forward at power 40 for 0 0.8 seconds. So it's like a little bit, so it avoids that black circle. After that, we're going to say repeat run line to 0, 0, 0, and then stop moving, which 0, 0, 0 is the intersection where um, M01 is. Then we're gonna move forward a little bit to set the robot. We're gonna turn left, and so we're facing directly towards M01. Then we're gonna move forward a little bit to get that perfect swing. Then we're gonna turn right and hit it down. And then, yeah. So you can change these speeds if you like want, because my M-Bot and your M-Bot might not be the same. So 
so you usually need to change this on your own, okay? Now that we've got this done, we're just going to connect it all together like this. And it's crucial to connect together, and like if you do part by part, you need to connect it together, because if you don't connect it together, it won't work, it'll just stay there. Okay, now once you've got that, you just connect it and upload it. Then you're done. So, now let's look at Afi's code. So this is my code for M02, and um, I recommend you to like code like section by section. Like if you first code, for example, this section, then you go play your mbot, see if it works, then continue with each sections, and then go see if they work on the mbot, and then until you have this final code. And I separated my code to show you every section of my code. So the first one, I defined my block, which is run line. I it's one of my blocks I made and it set power to power plus motor differential speed and power right to power minus motor differential speed and left wheel turns at power left and right wheel turns at power right. So it's really short and we're gonna be using one line kind of a lot inside our code. So let's start. So this is when we set up our mbot, we initialize our RGB line follower. We set our target light on our RGB line follower to green so that it's easier to see. And then we also turn the sensitivity to 0.9. And I recommend 0.9 because we use it a lot of times already. And I think that 0.9 is the best one. And then power is just the speediness of your mbot. And I set it to 100. And now this is my clicking the button. So if the onboard button is pressed, then you wait until the onboard button is released. So like when you press it and then it's released, it's going to start the actual code right here. So this is the first code. It's gonna run line to that black circle, which is 111. And it's gonna move forward at power 100 for 0 0.2 seconds. And then, so it can cross the black circle. Then it's gonna run line till 0000, 000, 000, 000, which is the position it'll hit the prop. So it's gonna move forward a bit so that it's like wing doesn't get stuck. And then it's gonna turn left to position it. Then it's gonna move forward again and then it's gonna turn right. This is the hitting part over here. So it's like, goes like that. And these are just like preparation steps for doing the hitting part, this. And moving backward is that um, our Emma doesn't like stay on the prop at the end or it's gonna be an invalid prop or it might even be touching the balls, which will make no points. So that's all my M02 code. So now I'm gonna connect it together. So connect that. I'm, I recommend you to take out. I recommend you take out the wait until and then connect from there so it'll be easier. Just connect that, connect that, keep that going, push there, go on, and that, and two last ones that have blown them up. That one and that one. And now that we have both of those, I'm gonna connect this way until into the if, like that. And now you have your M02 code. So thank you, I hope you find this useful. Bye. So Jimmy, thank you for sharing your code with us. Thank you, Afi, for sharing code with us. You're welcome. You're well, more welcome. Well, we we had a lot of bumps on the, along the road. Mm -hmm. We didn't get it in one first try, right? Yeah, of course we didn't. Yeah, and it's okay if you don't get it in your first try too. Just keep going. Yeah. For example, one of the problems that I had was that when, when I am about my first version, it didn't have this pull or flag, as you could say. And this is not only for decoration, it also serves another purpose. Oh, what is it? Yeah, well, if I didn't have this, my mbot would just get stuck over here and it wouldn't be able to hit it or come back. So, and I added this pull and it was all right again. Oh. Okay, so now do you have any problems? Yeah, so I added a big basketball hoop for here because like- That's cool. Original, you know? But it was too heavy and it keeps on, oh. like, my bot when I move forward, right? Yeah, it like, like, like kadook, 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 yeah. Kadook, and then, oh. so I had to remove it. Yeah, but that's a cool idea. Yeah, thank you. And I had to, like, make it normal again, like, only put this, not big basketball. It's and okay. <laughs> okay. So, we don't expect you to get it in one try, okay? Mm -hmm. So, good job. This is, Im this is not impossible. It's possible. You just keep trying and you'll get it. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. See you in M03 and M04 for our next video. Yep.